Greetings, fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to another Blood Splattered vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Jackulo. And we watched Overlord, the All recent... All hail the Overlord. The recent... All hail the Overlord. <laughs> the recent J.J. Abrams produced, Bad Robot produced, a Nazi zombie movie. And probably the first big budget yeah. studio released Nazi zombie movie that I could actually think of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like before this, I think like the the most high budget one we had gotten was uh, Dead Snow 2. Yeah, yeah, Red versus Dead. Yeah. You know, and that one was a was was a Norwegian film. Like, yep. Was, yep. You know. Yep. This, this is was... the first one I've seen from America that was this big budget. This is yeah, yeah, yeah. It had much more of a budget than Iron Sky. And I sincerely apologize for us uh, doing the vlog now, but, like, it's been a busy fucking month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I only I only just saw this, like, what, like, a week ago? Mm -hmm. Something like that. It, yeah. It, it was a while, guys. No November has been just nonstop. Like, <laughs> yeah, I thought, we, I thought it was going to be like, yeah, Halloween's over. Everything's great. And I'm like, ah. Oh. Awesome. I found November way more packed than Halloween was, and yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, and that's our month. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just like, Thanksgiving and blah blah blah. But I saw the movie uh, with my girlfriend, and then Jack wanted to go see the movie, and so we went out on a, on a day when Jack was not feeling too well. And yeah. we went out, got burgers, and saw Overlord, and it was the best decision we could have made. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. Because nothing makes you feel good, good quite like watching a bunch of fucking zombie Nazis getting their heads blown up. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Make, uh, make, make, make Nazi killing great again, is what yes. I say. That's what I say. Uh, you know? So, to give a little context to this movie, it was originally announced that it was going to be some sort of Cloverfield prequel, but that turned out to be completely false. Yeah, that was a complete <laughs> lie. Um, it is its own movie and was always intended to be its own movie, but then again, some of those Cloverfield sequels were originally intended to be their own movie. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But this one has <laughs> nothing to do with fucking Cloverfield Nothing to do with Cloverfield all. in the slightest. So, if you are confused like you had heard about this movie, but you thought it was something else, that's why. <laughs> that's why you're a little confused. Um, it was originally announced as Cloverfield. It's not. There you go. Uh, the other thing I want to say about this movie is that it should have been released in October. Oh, yeah. November was the wrong month for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Because the it problem was. is, is once you get to November and December, everyone wants like a holiday movie. So any holiday Yeah, yeah, movie, yeah. Had it, had it been a holiday yeah. Nazi zombie movie. That yeah, would, yeah. If, that it, if it, it took place on Christmas. Yeah, but it, <laughs> but it doesn't because the reason it's called Overlord is it's about Operation Overlord. Yep. Yep. You know, <laughs> which was the, um, the, the, uh, the, I, I can forget what you call it, but it's basically quick send dudes in before we do the full assault. Yeah, like, the before full assault D Day, essentially. Day. Yeah, yeah, it's D Day. Knock so. down these towers so that our planes can come in. That's basically that's the that's the initial plot of the movie. Yeah, <laughs> until Nazis and zombies show up. Well, Nazis were already there, but like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this thing is all about like a squad of paratroopers mm -hmm. who land in uh, somewhere in the outskirts of France yep. to get take down one of the communication towers as part of Operation Overlord. But it turns out within this communication tower is a secret lab that is creating zombie soldiers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As the trailer stated, a hundred year Reich needs a hundred year soldiers, or a yeah, thousand year. year Reich needs a thousand <laughs> yeah, yeah. year army. And the the thing is. I really don't think there's a lot you can spoil. Because well, at that movie. point, you kind of know where the movie's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything that can be ruined is as a direct result of its premise. Yeah, yeah. You know, like some what happens with some of the zombies. Because the kid, like, yeah, because like, what happens with some of the zombies? Well, they're going to get shot in the head. Some are going to get blown up. Some are... Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. So the only thing you can spoil is the plot. There are no, there are no great twists in this You plot. know going in that there are going to be zombies because the trailer already told you that. Yep. And that's the big reveal. Yep. About halfway into the movie. So. Yeah, they already <laughs> showed you the, the, the French woman zombie head that is fucking screaming for help. Yes. They already showed yes. you that. Oh, Which man, is a great, great scene. I, I kind of wish that they had fucking not shown us that. Well, the problem is, is I was I, I kept thinking back when, we were, when I was watching the movie both times where I was just thinking like, man, it would have been nice to have like, like, like the first time I watched From Dust Till Dawn where I didn't know there were vampires in it. Yeah. It would have been awesome yeah. to watch this movie not knowing that there were zombies in it, but how the fuck do you sell this movie? Exactly. <laughs> Without revealing exactly. that. Exactly. It's not like it's not like you have it's not like you have the two biggest names in Hollywood as the directors. You can yeah. sell it that way. 
you know, which is how Dust Till Dawn was sold. Yeah, and and this is this is directed by like a uh, Australian filmmaker, and this is like his second film, and I know I, I've never even heard of his first one, so yeah, <laughs> like this is like a, like a nobody. All you have is J.J. J. Abrams and 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 World War II, and that might be enough to sell a movie. But for the audience, you want for this movie, they got to know they got to know there's zombies because you know, they, they have they, to know it's a horror movie. So you know, like that's I, a really goofy horror movie. So I understand the pickle you're in because part of the appeal of this movie is like, oh, surprise zombies. But how do you sell it without yeah, telling that? <laughs> I, I have to say that of in the continuum of Nazi zombie movies, if you want another movie to compare this to, Dead Snow is probably oh, the yeah. closest in tone. Definitely. Because it's, it's very fun. Yeah, it's despite, a very fun movie. Despite being a World War II movie, it, it, it is very lighthearted, but it hits hard where it needs to. Yeah. You know, there are the moments where you're reminded that these are fucking Nazis and yep. <laughs> they don't fuck around. <laughs> yeah. Like, they don't fuck around. There's a lot of, there's a lot of Nazis like, I'm gonna, I've got, it's time, it's time haunts for me to put on the raping face. Oh, God. You know, he's just like, damn, that's, that's the other thing. I'm sitting there and I'm watching. God. I'm watching every plot point in this movie, and I'm like, this would be essentially the same exact plot in an exploitation movie. They just yes. would handle it with less finesse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he'd yeah. be ripping her top off and shit. Like, if oh yeah, yeah. We'd have got we'd got full boob. So it's it like the only been... real difference is just that it classes it up a little bit than those movies. Like, <laughs> and, and, and I say. Well, I understand why they did that. They should have gone the opposite direction. It should have been, it should have just been like, nope, there you go. <laughs> now, now she's going to be topless. I love for... that actress, though. Who oh, plays no, the she's French great. Girl. She's and, great. And her whole arc in the movie is great, too. Yeah. Especially by the end when she's, like, fucking grabbing a frame, flamethrower and turning Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> like, the, the latest, um, the latest addition to the World War II Melu film uh, that we have kind of we we've been slowly adding is the the a revolutionary French girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The French revolutionist who kills herself from Nazis. It's uh, Inglorious Bastards. Inglorious Bastards had that yeah. French Jewish girl. Yeah. Uh, this movie has it, and as as I said, I was like, yeah, man, because remember, Lady Liberty, she's French. Yes. <laughs> Statue of Liberty's French, that actress baby. Was great. I actually looked her up, and I have not seen her in anything else, but she looks so familiar to me when I was watching the movie, so I was like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, 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 she feels like someone that we would have seen in something. Yeah, but she just had like, a bunch of work in France, basically. Like those, oh, probably know. movies we haven't seen. Exactly. You know? <laughs> um, and the, the rest of the cast, uh, the lead dude was really good. I'm also not f very familiar with him. Yeah, there are a lot of him. unknowns in this movie. The one I was really familiar with was the dude who played the... Was it Colonel? Um, the, uh, the white dude who kind of leads them through most of the movie. Yeah. Um, that guy I had seen in a couple other things and the guy who played the sergeant who dies really early on in this movie. Yeah. I had seen in a lot of J.J. Abrams projects. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's, he always, he always plays tough black guy yes. in the J.J. Abrams movie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he kind of looks like a bigger buffer, like, uh, a Dave Chappelle. Yeah, like, I think he was, I think he was actually like a, one of the admirals in one of the Star Trek flicks. Actually. I probably was. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've seen him in a lot of stuff. So like, that was a face I immediately recognized. And the other dude I recognized too, um, to a lesser extent, but everyone else, like, I was like, I, I don't recognize you from anything. Like, yeah. 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 Like, which also helped the movie. Yeah. Oh, it did. It did. It really did. It also oh, the German guy. The German oh. leader guy. I've seen him in a lot of shit. Right, <laughs> right. Because you want a good, you want a good character actor to play the bad guy. You know, the guy like playing this. the part that would have been Udo Kier in the seventies. Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> dude. I feel. Oh, yeah. He probably couldn't have done that. I'm gonna beat you up and rape you scene. <laughs> Um, cause he's a little old now, but like, I think nineties Udo Kier could pull it. Well, off. here's the thing. It makes me sad that this movie didn't do well because. It would have been really cool to see an Overlord 2 that actually takes place in the Siege of Berlin. Yes. No, 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 no. Over, oh, I'm telling you, Overlord 2, we have the zombie head of fucking Hitler on top of a giant robot. And he's fucking like, oh shit, now zombies and robots. What do we do? And that, and, and the answer is obvious, which is you build a fucking giant robot, looks like Uncle Sam. <laughs> I don't, I don't want, I'd pay top dollar to see that movie. 
I'm, I'm just, I'm amazed this movie exists and it, that it's as good as it is. Like, yeah. I'm, just... I'm hoping that the, that the fact that this movie didn't do well doesn't interrupt the release of Iron Sky 2. Uh, I, I guarantee Iron Sky 2 is going to come out because it has a different, like, yeah. Iron Sky, Ty, Sky 2 has a very specific audience that wants to watch that kind of goofy, bad on purpose movie. Yeah. Whereas this movie was trying to go for a big theatrical release, which yeah. may have worked if they released it a month earlier. Yeah, yeah, because I don't know why studios are having a hard time, like, <clears throat> releasing horror movies in October. Well, because I think what ends up happening is that when you get the big releases, no one wants to double up. Because if you have two horror movies released on the same weekend, they're vying for the same audience. Okay. It's, it's why um, you don't release Wreck-It Ralph alongside how the Grinch stole Christmas because they're both family animated movies that are going to be vying for the same audience. That's why you release them a week apart. Yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like why would you do it after Halloween? Maybe all the weekends were taken up. I don't know. I have no yeah, idea the yeah. story behind this one. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I mean, I understand not wanting to necessarily come out the same week as that, like Halloween yeah. sequel, you know, because yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, the choice had been obvious. Like, it probably would have been fine if it opened up against the uh, Goosebumps 2 or something, because that's still a Oh, yeah, audience. yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah, that's a very different audience. You know. You know, and I, and I feel bad because I'm, I'm hearing bad things about that Goosebumps 2. Well, the problem, the problem I keep hearing with that one is that it's basically like, hey, you want to rehash of everything you liked about the first one, but without Jack Black? Not really. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, no. like, it's there. You liked it in the first one, but it's just that over again. And... Uh, so, I, actually, I had someone say, like, if you were to see the real go Goosebumps 2, see the House of the Clock and its Walls. Yes, I agree with that <laughs> statement. Because House of the Clock and its Walls was fantastic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Um, so, anyway, like, what what else is there to talk about? In Unfortunately, Lord? there's not much. We can get into spoilers, but I honestly don't know what to spoil. So Yeah, yeah, what can you spoil? It's like... It's, it's about a historical event, so you know roughly how it's going to go down. It is very by-the-numbers plot-wise, because the fun of the movie is watching the characters do shit. It's not it's not the plot structure that's fun. Like it's, yeah. not, it's not like when you watch like an espionage movie and watching the plot play out yeah. is part of the fun. Like In this movie, the fun is you kind of already know the formula. What's fun about the movie is watching these characters freak out and kill Nazis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the fucking, uh, like the Nazi, that, not the Nazi, like the, the Jewish sniper from Brooklyn. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that character is great. That Brooklyn dude. Oh my God, great. yeah. So the thing, the, the, the movie has like two Jewish characters in it. And one of them's like a a, a, a nice, and, and, like yeah. like Jewish guy from like the Midwest. But the other one's like a hardcore Brooklyn dude, <laughs> you know? And they're always like coming to blows. And his, and his friendship he develops with that little kid. Is oh great. God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the, the, the French Revolutionary girl has like a, a little brother that she's taking care of. You know what? You I know? think, fuck it. I'm not going to have a spoiler section here because there's nothing to spoil. No, there really isn't. I But I do, but I think we should highly recommend yes. the movie. Like when this... You have a chance to to see it or uh, get get yourself that DVD or Blu-ray if it is still playing wherever you are and you are sick to fuck of the holiday season. Go fucking oh, watch yeah. this movie because there ain't holiday anywhere in this. Oh no 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 no! You have to. <laughs> this will be the nice palate shit. cleanser. <laughs> yeah yeah, it'll be it'll be a lot of fun, and you just you'll you'll just watch this and be like, <laughs> you kick the Nazi in the balls. Also, <laughs> also, just just being online and dealing with like fucking white supremacist bullshit is getting to you. This is a great movie. Oh to watch. yeah, it, it is. It is. <laughs> it truly is. <laughs> Want to watch a, a team of troopers led by a black dude kill a bunch of Nazis? Sounds fun. I feel. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like this is the movie America both needs and deserves. Yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so uh, where can they find you, Count Jackie? All right. You can find me on Instagram at Satanic Jack. You can find me on Twitter, Count underscore Jackula, and you can find me, of course, here on YouTube. Subscribe to my show, please. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I stream every... It's not like I say this at the end of every video, is it? <laughs> every Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Twitch and on Sunday, 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time 
also on Twitch. So if you're like, hey, Count Dracula, you used to have all these fucking, like, you know, streams on YouTube. What happened? YouTube fucked me, and so we're on Twitch right now. Yeah, yeah. He, he's in that, that like, 90-day period. And I yeah, think it yeah. Doesn't and it doesn't go away until, like, next year. Yeah, it was so. really it was really weird because it was one of those, like, oh, you have copyrighted material. And I'm like, I do? Click. Oh. And it's one of those, like, in the background of a video I was playing, there was yeah, yeah. something going that, on. That shit's dangerous. Yeah. On fucking YouTube. Yeah. And, and Twitch, for that matter. Yeah. Well, at least Twitch is like, all right, you're gone for... 24 hours. Okay, a week. All right, a month. You know, it's like they give you some, like... They give you a little it, bit. It's a yeah. little bit more generous, because... A little bit more generous than YouTube, because YouTube is just notoriously harsh when it comes to copyright content. It's super fucking As harsh. As if you're fans of our shows, you're very well aware. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah, to give you guys a little bit of an update, uh, there will be another Blood Splattered Cinema soon. Uh, I have four scripts written right now. Four. Count them. Yeah. Four. They are completed scripts. We're probably going to do some last minute rewrites before we actually film them because we always do um but there are four written and one of them is going to start filming soon we just need to get out of this entire month basically yeah <laughs> so that we can get out it. of fucking november <laughs> and so we can start filming that so expect that sometime either the end of december or early january mm -hmm. most likely mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so you can find me on Twitter at The Horror Guru, on Facebook at The Horror Guru, or, or Blood Splattered Cinema, and on Twitch at The Horror Guru. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload, hopefully. <laughs> and, uh, I guess with that said, peace out, my fellow gorehounds, and we'll catch y'all later. Deep in